Hello and welcome to The Brief, where we bring you key economic developments that occurred in the previous week and key activities to watch in the new week. It is the last week of August 2022 and the rising tide of inflation in Nigeria, which is also a global phenomenon, remains a major puzzle that fiscal and monetary policy authorities must explore ways to address. For the key socioeconomic events from last week, Nigeria's July 2022 headline inflation rate, according to the National Bureau of Statistics, soared to 19.64%. Food inflation also rose to 22.02%. The Minister of Finance and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, said that a total of 6.21 trillion naira was paid to independent oil marketers as premium motor spirit subsidy by the Nigerian National Petroleum Company in eight years. Ahmed hosted this last week when she appeared before the House of Representatives Ad Hoc Committee on Petroleum Product Subsidy Regime from 2013 to date, said payment period was between 2013 to 2021. The Nigeria Governors Forum at the end of its meeting last week disagreed in principle with the Attorney General of the Federation, Mr. Bubaka Malami, SAN, over the controversial $418 million Paris Club reform. According to the Chairman of the NGF and Governor of Ekiti State, Dr. John Kaede Faimi, the Attorney General was not acting in the best interest of the nation. For the market roundup for the week ended August 19, 2022, the equities market recorded mixed performance as the listed equities NGX ASI recorded a minus 0.59% loss week on week, and the NSD OTC closed negative with a minus 0.07% loss. The INEFX near FX window closed negative and the NAFX rate closed positive. The BDC rates closed negative, while the Brent crude oil price and WTI crude oil price moved down at the end of the week. The FMD crude debt market size closed negative, while the AFX ACI and AI closed negative. From what to expect from the markets this week, published by ProShare. From the money market, production analysts expect the interbank rates should maintain the double-digit strength as liquidity fails. For the Treasury bills market, analysts expect the bearish sentiment should persist this week as inflation expectation worsens. Looking at the secondary market, Prochia expects the average benchmark yields will trend upward this week as investors seek higher yields. For the economic, financial and capital market events to watch in New Week, on Monday, August 22, 2022, the Nigeria Bar Association will hold the opening session of its 62nd annual conference in Lagos. It will discuss the theme, Bold Transitions. The Nigeria Institute of Public Relations, in collaboration with 70 organizations, will on Tuesday, August 23, 2022, hold the grand finale of a Citizens' Summit on National Integration, Peace and Security. On the same date, FITC Nigeria will hold its International Board Leadership Program with the team Enhancing Board's Oversight of Cybersecurity and Digital Risk Management for Competitive Advantage. For Thursday, August 25, 2022, the Vanguard Economic Series will host the third edition of its annual MSME Summit to discuss the theme Enhancing MSME's Productivity and Growth in an Emerging Digital Economy. The event will have as speakers Mr. Kyle De Piton, MD of Bank of Industry, Professor Omar Dambata, Executive Vice Chairman and Director General of the Nigerian Communications Commission, and Dr. Chinyere Almona, the Director General of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry. The venue for the event is Civic Center and the time is 9.30 a.m. And that will be all for this edition of The Brief. You can join our website www.proshare.co to read our news stories, reports and watch our videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great week and please stay safe.